This video shows how to develop professional applications with the LWIP embedded TCP IP stack and the QP state machine framework. LWIP is a lightweight implementation of the TCP IP protocol suite specifically designed for microcontrollers. QP is a lightweight, open source state machine framework, which is like a real time operating system, RTOS, for executing event driven state machines. The LWIP QP integration has been carefully designed for hard real-time control type applications in which the TCP IP stack is used to monitor and configure the embedded device as well as to provide remote user interface, for example by means of a web browser. The QP framework strictly encapsulates the non-reentrant LWIP stack. No external RTOS is needed to achieve fully deterministic real-time response of state machine tasks prioritized above the LWIP task. This demonstration uses the inexpensive Stellaris ARM Cortex M3 board from Texas Instruments. The board is powered up from the host computer via a USB cable, which is also used for downloading and debugging the embedded code. The board is connected to a standard network router using the regular straight-through Ethernet cable. This LWIP example is set up to acquire the IP address dynamically from the DHCP server. Therefore, I log on to the network router to make sure that the DHCP server is enabled. The example code can be compiled with various tools. Here I use the Sorcery G++ toolset based on Eclipse and the GNU compiler. The example code contains the Eclipse Makefile based project. The native event driven API of LWIP perfectly matches the event driven run to completion execution model underlying QP. In other words, QP works with the standard LWIP code as distributed from the LWIP homepage. After building and downloading the code, the board starts executing the example. The first line in the display initially shows the IP address of all zeros, but after a few seconds it shows the IP address acquired from the DHCP server. The second line in the display shows the changing status of the classic Dining Philosophers problem, which is used to simulate a real-time application running in parallel to the TCP IP stack. The application has a screensaver to protect the OLED display from a burn-in. I check the IP address in the router. The embedded board is identified by the hostname LWIP. I copy the IP address and paste it to the address bar of my browser. At this point, the web browser downloads the web page from the HTTP server running inside the ARM board. The web page is stored in the flash memory of the MCU and contains several images, links, tables, and a style sheet. A quick check if the board is still running. Please note how quickly this non-trivial web page reloads when I press the refresh button on the browser. The HTTP server has been extended to support rudimentary server-side include SSI facility. The following table contains 11 SSI tags embedded in the HTML of this web page. Client browsers never see these tags, as the HTTP server replaces them on the fly while serving this page. These particular SSI tags cause the target to generate various LWIP link statistics. The SSI web page loads slower than the others, because each SSI tag is sent in a separate TCP IP packet. The HTTP server supports rudimentary common gateway interface CGI facility. CGI allows you to use standard HTML forms in your web pages to send data to the HTML server inside the embedded system. This simple form demonstrates sending text to be displayed on the board via the CGI facility running inside the embedded HTTP server. You type text and press the submit button. The CGI request triggers execution of a CGI callback function inside the target, which, is, which in this case shows the text on the display. Of course, your own code can do anything you like. After processing the CGI request, the embedded HTTP server serves the Thank You page, another CGI demonstration. Please note that you don't need to use any scripting or executable content in your, in your HTML to generate the CGI request. You use just the standard HTML form. Please note that the embedded HTML server generates the Thank You page for the specific request embedded in the URI. The LWIP QP example also demonstrates UDP communication to and from the embedded target. To facilitate testing of UDP connectivity, 
A simple console application called QUDP for Windows or Linux hosts is provided in the example code. QUDP is invoked with the IP address of the target system and optionally the port number. The embedded target opens up a UDP connection and binds it to the default port 777. Every UDP packet sent to this connection is interpreted as text to be displayed on the screen of the target board. The target board then adds a sequence number to the original text and sends it back to the same remote IP address and port number that has sent the original packet. The LWIP stack contains the rudimentary implementation of Internet Control Message Protocol ICMP. The main use of ICMP is to respond to the ping command. The complete example code and comprehensive documentation is available from statemachine.com. From the Downloads menu, you click on LWIP TCP IP Stack. This brings you to the web page dedicated to LWIP. At the bottom of the page, you can find the code downloads. Extensive documentation in PDF is also available.